Hi, in this session, we'll create the admin permission group. A permission set group is much more interesting than cloning the uh, permission set from the managed package. It would mean that when you upgrade the managed package, you can still also use the upgrades of the existing permission sets, sets that sit inside the managed package, and you do not have to change your cloned permission sets. Okay, let's create a new one for the admin. I call it PDF Butler admin and i just click save you can add descriptions if you want that's of course uh, up to you the first step is we'll add some uh, permission set to the group the permission set that we want to add to the group is of course the admin permission set uh, the pdf butter admin permission set so we can leave it unchanged and just add it to the group okay next up is we will create a new permission set that will require all the uh, uh, permissions that are not there in the out of the box permission set that's uh, installed with the managed app. This is because some permissions that we set in the managed app are not uh, taken over by Salesforce when you install the managed app. That's very unfortunate, but yeah, it's just the way it is. Okay, I uh, used my, I created my uh, permission set and I click save. And actually, there is only one thing to do in this permission set. We go to the Assigned Connected App, and we add the Connected App in the region that we need. So when you are in Asian Pacific, you will select this one. When you are in US, you will select this one. I'm currently in, U, in uh, EU, in Europe, so I'm going to select this one. I always select the Connected App that's closest to me. OK, and save it our new permission set uh, is now there so let's add it to the permission set group okay and i select the permission that i want so i take, go for the local okay done now my permission set group has two permission sets and these will have all of the permissions i need as a user to uh, as an admin user to start using pdf butler I'm going to go back to the permission set group because there's one more important thing to do. And it's, of course, assign the permission set to, for instance, myself. Because I'm the admin in this environment. OK, that's it. That's how you create permission set groups. And this is the best way to work with uh, the permission sets that come out of the box with PDF Butler.